Hi everyone, I'm here with George on the Giant Pledge. I want to wish you the best of luck for the London Marathon. Go get them! Five, four, hold. Three, two, one, and done. I thought it'd be really, really cool just to get an idea of like how you get yourself marathon ready, like on the day. Mm -hmm. um, what, what do you go through in the morning to kind of get yourself ready for the, the moment? Firstly, can I say what a great job you've been doing oh, with all the fundraising. You. It's incredible to see what you've uh, been doing fundraising for years and had charities. And I don't think I've seen anyone that's done, oh. you know, that amount and in that short period of time. So well done. Thank it's you. It's good. <laughs> that wasn't your hardest task, getting the money. Your hardest no. task is now getting the marathon, right? Yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong. Five, four, three, two advice for marathon day yes I've already said take toilet roll i've noted that one you're gonna go on the start line and you will get swept with the hype and i guarantee you won't walk from the start you'll go off and yeah, everybody else you you'll be running oh, yeah. without a doubt yeah. you will absolutely and you'll be running faster and, and it's, it is a brilliant feeling mm. as well but at, what i have in my head is i've had 26 what till you run <laughs> Dial like in the morning and then just natural whatever, go toilet, whatever, and just kept sipping. Just sip the whole yeah. way around. So I had dial like, so that was a little tip. Um report in the morning into low plank. Oh, it's good. Okay, then from there, I see some shaking going on. <laughs> I have to say it was a brilliant day. I loved it. Just the atmosphere and the energy and seeing all people of all shapes, sizes, abilities, backgrounds, walking, running, skipping, sprinting, crawling, yeah. it didn't matter. All... We all had the same distance to go. So when you cross the line, you just feel really proud. You really do. And you will burst down. I know you will probably be in tears on the side, but you'll burst into tears yeah. on the end. Yeah. Skinners and runners, I always say core is probably the most important thing because that keeps you staying ready to run. So just going to do a little bit of core. Yeah. Yeah. Training for the marathon is partly learning how to release that steam through sport and exercise. Yes, actually, which is so important. It, I've really learned is. that actually there are those days that are hideous and I can't get out of bed and I'm feeling so low, but those, those days are actually when I give myself a damn fine talking to and the support network around us are also helping us and getting us up and doing exercise and then mm. actually I feel better afterwards. It's Stretching, warming up properly, maybe taking off uh, the pressure on your legs, going into a gym if you can and doing more cardiovascular training. I have such a fear of being so emotional on the day, like yeah. because we're running for such a personal cause. You know, mm -hmm. Giant pledge means so much to us. Yeah. I don't know how to overcome that. Like I'm, I'm nervous that I'm going to need the loo every five seconds. <laughs> I'm going to cry my eyes, out, and that's exhausting in itself. Like I don't know how to manage that. Do you well, have any advice? One, the reason why you're going to get around it. That's true. Because you have in your head, you have to do it, and that mm -hmm. is, it, your head's such a powerful tool. It's the willpower to succeed. And I do you think in people's head, they should have a little expectation of themselves because it yeah. gives you those little goals. And training and on the day. Yeah, so like, what you yeah. got a you do anything, let's face it. <laughs> my bit was a relief that I'd got round. Surprise that I got round at the time I did. And the cameras were in my face says, What are you gonna do next year? I went, No. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you gonna say to people? Why do they need to fundraise for the last bit? <laughs> oh, so if so basically for for the giant pledge, for George and the Giant Pledge, we're asking for the donations because if what we're putting ourselves through is nothing, mm -hmm. nothing to what we see the children go through. And I know, yeah. you know, cancer affects so many, and at any age, it's awful. But yeah. in children, it's brutal. It's another level entirely. Yeah. And so, every penny that we raise goes, as we said, to the Royal Marsden, and it helps fund research and support for children, not only at the Marsden, but actually nationally and internationally, because the work they do goes global. Goes global. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so you know, the chat that we've been having of these struggles are nothing to when. Our, ch our children have to be pinned down to have all sorts of horrible procedures when they have to go through, you know, awful surgeries that are life changing that they then live with for, you know, the rest of their lives. Rest of their lives and yeah. Assuming they even get that far, you know, yeah. so that's why we're asking people to fundraise because we might, you know, say how hardship this is, but it's nothing to the kids. And sure. bear in mind how low funding for childhood cancer research is at the moment. Um, we're trying to make a difference, so we're trying to create a movement. Okay, well, good. <laughs> but, <it'll be> <laughs> yeah. but actually, you know, joking aside, for, for um, yeah, helping families that, you know, 11 children a day are diagnosed with cancer in the UK. It's the single 
biggest killer of children in the UK, mm -hmm. disease-wise. Um, and so, even if it just helps, you know, one, two, ten, hundred of those, either now or somewhere down the future, um, that's why we're asking people yeah. to help donate. Yeah. I mean, um, <laughs> where's it going? Keep going. Nice. Well done. That's good. Oh, well, so, when, the, so the million pounds, where is that all going? So the money all goes to the Royal Mar Marsden Cancer Charity, which is then specifically ring fenced for children's cancer projects that um, both myself and Vicky have, have gone through with them and, and specifically chosen. Right, back and start. And down, again, that's it. Cool, cool, cool. Do it again. <laughs> and that. I'm not here to kill you off, but to show you something. Afterwards, like, this is a really silly question, but I... Like, that is, <laughs> We quite, with all the treatment that George had over that year period, you'd have to deal with cancer and the, the fundraising, it feeds, it helps get rid of the adrenaline we have, and, but it also feeds it. And this is a big deal for us, you know, hopefully this will hit the million. So lift the right leg up, off you go. Lift it up straight, that's it, slow. Hold, 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 and back down. Good. Well, I can tell you it's a big, it is a big blow, it is a big detachment. You know, because it is like sort of institutionalised in a way. You've been mm. living this piece for so long. It's just you now. You feel like it's just you. Mm. And it will be hard. You know, it will be hard, but maybe it's now that you set that next goals. Because the problem is when people don't set what they're going to do next. Exactly, yeah. Like an athlete finishing or a, a, an army soldier leaving. Haven't thought about the next, what's next, and that's why a lot of athletes suffer uh, from identity crisis, mm. you know, depression, all those things, because they're thinking, I have no idea who I am or what my purpose is. And mm. actually, look, what mm. you've achieved through this bad experience, but what else has come out of it? Yeah. Good things. Mm. Take those, but start thinking about it now. You what? The energy of the event, you'll get round. You'll get round because of why you're doing it. You'll get mm. round because it's a Big achievement, personal achievement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you've got to remember all those little things. The floor, put it back up, bend the knee, and back down. Good. Do it again, one leg at each leg, I'm going to watch. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> go. Right. Nice, stay in. Good, really keep the bum up the whole time, that's it. Especially when you take off, that's it, yeah. Engage those glutes. Keep up, down, back up to there, bend the knee. Back down. Yes. Last one. One more each. So anyone out there that still wants to fundraise, um, you've heard the story. It's absolutely amazing. And um, I think we should all do our bit. So, uh, yeah, go on to the website. You've already heard it, which is... Giantpleasure.com. And um, donate.